Okay, hello, my name is Janeth, and today I am going to show you how to do a simple Disney edit. I got the screen caps from DisneyScreenCap.com, and I am using Photoshop CS3. So first, we're going to create a new blank document. We're going to name it. You could do that at the end if you want. I did 90, 900 by 900. I put the resolution to 150, and I got my blank documents. I am now going to look for some screen caps that I got from DisneyScreenCaps.com putting it in my blank document. Oh, first I am going to change the sizes of each um, each image so it could go with the resolution of the blank document that I just started so I'm just changing the resolution to 150 and to 90 or 6 inches each um, or you know so just placing it where I feel like it should go for this example edit and I do the same thing to this image so yeah so I just put a 150 resolution um, 90 width or um, 6 width so or height I did 6 height sorry I am um, recording my voice after doing the image so that's why I'm kind of looking at a small screen but yeah, so now I am just placing this image where it belongs. I decided to make it a little bit bigger than the last image so I could overlap them and blend them together. Sorry for the awkward silence, but I am back. So I placed the image, I modify, and just save it there. You then will want to click on the little bottom add mask. It is a little square with a circle on it. In order for your erase tool to turn into an erase tool, so you just erase the background. And your brush tool, if you make a mistake on the erase tool, you erase too much. You could just kind of bring it back with the brush tool. And I used a soft brush as best as I could because I was kind of doing this really fast. So, yeah, I was just kind of brushing, soft brushing everything, the background and stuff. So then I decided to add some curves in order to highlight the picture. You don't want to do it too much because your picture turns white, as you could tell. But, yeah, I just wanted to brighten up the image, not too dark. And I did the same exact thing. You go to adjustments or, um, I'm, oh, I'm fixing the thing because, you know, I realized I made a mistake, so I'm fixing it with the brush tool. So then I went to adjustments and curves. Um, give me a second. Uh, adjustments and curves. And I did the same thing. I wanted the um, the lighting on the of the curves to be exactly like the last one, or almost exactly, as best as I could. So I just kind of eyeballed it. But yeah, so then um, I am now going to add a texture that I got from DeviantArt.com. You could get many textures from DeviantArt.com. And I'm just going to change the size and resolution. That way it could kind of go with the blank document. Or no longer the blank document, but you know, my edits. And yeah, so I'm just placing it and working with the blending modes. For textures, always work with the blending modes. Um, you could lower transparency as I'm about to do. I decide to work with overlay and I lowered the transparency because I didn't want it too much but I did want a sort of texture there I'm not sure if you could see it in the video but there is a texture there um, a dusty texture as um, one would call but yeah so I got the textures from DeviantArt so look for DeviantArt or you could just google.com look at big images um, google textures so yeah so now I'm just going to kind of play with the fonts and text that way you kind of see and I just kind of picked a random text and writing um, edit seminars because that's what I go by on Instagram and Tumblr and my other social media even though my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash lunita so yeah so I'm just kind of showing you how you could change the sharpness and crisp you, um, if you click on it you know you could um, open the layer the um, blending styles the blending modes so you just go to layer um, and then you click layer styles and you go blending options and yeah, so you could kind of play with that. You could add a um a strike um a strike. What is that? A stroke. Um, I used a drop tool to kind of get the color of the background. 
And yeah, you could do many things. You could change the color. Um, you could add a gradient to your text, which I did not do, but you could do that. Um, you know, I'm just changing the size, just kind of like messing around, moving it, placing it. You must always go to the arrow when you want to place it. Um, click the text tool when you want to change the text. And you could also change text to certain words. So if you want a different text on a certain word. And I am going to go to my windows and go to characters to show you that you could kind of, you know, mess around with just one single word. Then pretend you have like a whole paragraph or something. And you could change the um, sizes and all that jazz, you know, just kind of change the things and make it look really nice. And, well, I'm not really doing it really nice because this is like a simple tutorial. And especially since I'm just kind of trying out my tutorial and my voiceovers since I kind of never do voiceovers. And yeah, oh, also, if you go to dofont.com, you could download many fonts from there and they're free. They're for personal use. So make sure you're not selling stuff. But yeah, yeah I'm just go to dofont.com and just for personal use, just for fun. You could kind of just download some cool fonts from there, which I kind of download a lot of fonts from there. I'm not sure if this is a pre-download font or I downloaded it from dofont.com. But yeah, you, you know. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next tutorial if I do another one.